My research is focused on cardiac and renal diseases. I view myself as a clotologist because most of my time I've spent working on projects in the platelet field as well as in the coagulation system. When I started here at Bayer 29 years ago, I got the chance to apply my scientific knowledge with the goal to identify novel drugs. It was all about science, all about the pathophysiology, all about the signaling pathways and how you can modify that. But later you realize what you can do with your research, with your science, applied science for the patient. You can work on something that is so relevant to so many people. These thrombotic events are among the diseases with the highest overall mortality. We have these strategies to solve the, the problems in thrombosis. Still, there are aspects that are not solved. If you were asking others, they would say an experiment in the lab is an experiment in the lab. That's it. But what can we really learn from that? And how can we tweak it and make it a little better that it would reflect the situation of the patient. I think what I enjoy the most, this, this moment to take the data that you have and transform that into the next experiment. And still after more than 20 years, being in the lab. I was absolutely convinced if we would identify a specific antagonist for this particular receptor, that would be you know, really a fantastic opportunity for many, many patients. So we screened a million compounds and could really identify antagonists of this receptor. Then you move on, phase 2b, and then finally phase 3. And when the phase 3 data comes out, you, you can't just stop celebrating. Then you see after 10, 12 years after your research, that the promises hold true. Of course, not every scientist has this luck, if you like. The sad truth is that it just happened, you know, not often enough. I mean, not often enough for the patients. This is a, a long process overall. There are a lot of challenges coming. We have to uh, work with failures because uh, this will uh, always happen to us. This is our business in a way. And I have to think again whether what I have now is just unexpected and might lead to new experiments that in some cases might even be better than we had thought before. If you think about wh what we are doing it for and why we are doing it, uh, yeah, that motivates enough. I was very much surprised that I even got letters from patients with chronic kidney disease asking me whether they could participate in our ongoing and future clinical trials because they said there is nothing for us since almost 20 years. People know us for having these products. Life in pharmaceutical applied research, if you will, uh, has changed a lot over the years. Getting into more sophisticated in vitro systems, we have moved a lot uh, from the uh, small molecules into new modalities, and that opens up huge new spaces to help patients. My name is Peter Kolkow, and I'm working as a scientist in cardiovascular research. My name is Stefan Heidmeier, I work on novel strategies to treat diseases in the cardiovascular space.